But the biggest mistake you could probably make is not trying hard enough. The end result is not necessarily what you expect it's going to be. Somewhere down the line, somewhere when I was really young, uh, someone said that something was good and that made me feel good. It did something in my head, whatever chemicals are in your head that make you feel like, oh, um, I just want people to feel that way all the time. I think it took me a little while in my career to understand that uh, graphic design isn't about me. It took me a little while. But I really wish when I graduated I, I knew that going into the profession. I think for me the aha moment was when I, we all have ideas, and it was when I had the idea for the Thousand Journals project, and I knew that if I didn't do it, I'd regret it. And that's what sort of forced me to move forward. I had no idea what I was doing. I just took the first step and then the second, and now I'm here. The people that don't last are the people that uh, want to do everything and don't sort of trust uh, their colleagues to participate or they have too big of an ego or uh, it's only their idea that counts. I have to go back to that haunting mistake of not documenting my work properly. I mean, I, my, obviously once I started in on the street, so you're kind of exposed to the elements, and all you have are pictures at the end, and if you don't take them right, then, you know, that's it. I think that there is courage in knowing that you don't know what you're doing, but still doing it anyway. Crochet got me here, in a way. This is sort of an animation endeavor I'm going to go into, so finally these two things should come together, and so this is the, the piece that came out of that. I'm traveling, but uh, it really refilled your brain, basically, and re inspire of other culture, and and you might pick up another citizen as your lover. Uh, is this great advantage? Deep thoughts by Francois Robin. Um. So um, I've done a lot of uh, social work, so eventually it finally inspired me to do some form of flags. I think those images are very much your flags and, and some form of anti-war because everybody loses. I mean, we all turn into bone when we die uh, by bullets or napalm or atomic bombs. The biggest mistake you can make is uh, not letting go of something um, and letting somebody else have room to, uh, to play. He was really the life club and symbol for this event and will continue to uh, inspire us to do bigger and better things.